Okay, so a man walks into a bar. Have you heard this one? No, I don't think so. This isn't a joke. This guy isn't a priest, or a rabbi, or a congressman. And he's not carrying ducks with him, or a parakeet, or a small piano. As it happens, that man is my father. And this is nearly 21 years ago, before I was born. And I've heard this story a thousand times, and even though I was never there to see it, sometimes I like to pretend that I was. I like to imagine the stale aroma of spilt beer and unkempt ashtrays. I like to pretend that I'm walking through the place, eavesdropping on the tables around me, listening to one person talk and admiring the person across as he or she displays just the right enough interest to keep the conversation floating. And when the waiter walks right past me as if I wasn't there, it doesn't matter. Because for all intents and purposes, I'm not here. Even when the chef presented the plate to the lonely table for one and neither of them acknowledged me, it doesn't matter. It's a very difficult thing to feel ignored. To feel completely alone, even in a crowded room. Now I'm aware that some people enjoy their privacy and maybe they feel more comfortable enjoying quiet time alone or sharing it with a special loved one. Like this couple here. Just the two of them and the piano man. But that's not me. I've never been able to be that guy. Not yet. But that's a different story and we'll get into it later, I promise. For now, we're still enjoying the past. And speaking of which, I should tell you that my mother just walked out of the ladies' room. And of course, she walks right past me too. But it's alright. Like I said, I'm not even here. I guess I should have mentioned that they both walked into the bar. See, I can't even set it up right. Look, look at those two. I can't see her face, but I bet you money that she's bored. Anyways, back to my mother. Look at her. She's just walking around the room. She didn't know it at the time, but she's actually looking for my father. And in just a couple of moments, she's going to see him, approach him, and talk to him. Any minute now. Here it is. And as they say, the rest is history. Is the seat taken? Not at all. She always told me that she did it because my father looked like he felt ignored. Isn't that hysterical? Now I said this wasn't a joke and I meant that. But if it was, what would be the punchline?
mother, happy birthday. Vance, are you there, Vance? Maybe you're out. I hope you aren't by yourself today. No one should be alone on their birthday. Oh, well. I hope you're having fun. We miss you, honey. I know it's silly. We have to get used to your not being around. It's hard, especially for a mother. It is so hard. You're all grown up now, 20 years old. My goodness, I remember so much, so much about you and your father. So does he. We spent every day of your life loving you and each other. When we met in that bar and I came up to him and sat down, nobody had spoken to him the whole night, and I just as easily could have done the same, but I didn't. Oh, but you know that story, and I like telling it. I like to think that we're both special for that, and I've tried to teach you the same thing, Vance. Don't overlook anyone, or you'll miss out on everything that counts. Happy birthday, birthday boy. Oh, I almost forgot. I ran into a nice young man that you went to high school with today at the supermarket. His name was Adam, I believe. I'm sure you'll remember him better than me. Well, I told him about you going to school, and I told him it was your birthday. Now, I gave him your phone number. I hope that was all right. He said he's going to call you after he gets off work tonight. Well, goodbye for now, honey. I love you. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get in touch with Vance. Uh, this is the number I was given. Looks like you're not in right now. I can, I can call back later. Well, your mom told me that it was your birthday, so I... Hello? Hey, is this Vance? Yeah. Who is this? This is Adam. Do you remember me, man, from school? I remember you. Oh. Were you asleep? No. Um, I just, I just don't feel so well. Really? That sucks. What's the matter? It's my birthday. Yeah, so I heard. Happy birthday. Thank you. So, you're in school, is that right? Yeah. How do you like it? It's a big university. Lots of people. Yeah. There's lots of people. Any of them worth a damn? I don't, I don't know. Hmm. I don't, I don't know any of them. So what did you do on your birthday? Nothing. Oh, come on. I'm sure you did something. No. No, I didn't. Okay. Well, that's cool, too. I'm, 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 I'm gonna go to bed now, Adam. It was nice to hear from you, but... I think I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. I'll see you. Vance? Yeah. If I call you tomorrow, will you answer your phone? I, I, I answered it today. Will you tomorrow? Yeah, I will. Okay. Talk to you tomorrow then. Bye.
Hi, I'm going around to all the dorms and asking for pennies from everyone on our floor. If our floor gets the most pennies, they're going to throw a party for us out in the lobby. So, do you have any uh, pennies that you would want to? I don't exactly like waking people up to ask them to give me pennies. I didn't come to college to become a door-to-door -door hobo. But as it stands now, that's not the point. The point is, I have been very polite since we... I started talking. And I asked you a simple question. I could accept you saying no. I could accept you saying that you didn't have any pennies on you. Hell, I could even accept that if I could clearly see a jar full of pennies in your hand with nothing but pennies all over the floor. So, now that we've both taken up more time than we needed from each other, can you please give me an answer to my original question so that I can be on my way? Time is pennies, that sort of thing. They aren't taking anything but pennies. What is this? Um, it used to be a unicorn, but now it's just a horse, I guess. What's riding it? That used to be a clown. I don't know what to call it now. It doesn't have a head or a left arm. Yeah, it used to. And the unicorn used to have hooves and a horn, I imagine? Yeah, they broke off. That shelf falls a lot. Every time it falls, it seems like something breaks on it. Well, you should move it. It's not easy being a mythical beast. Or at least put something soft down so that it won't break every time it falls. Here's your pennies. Got fourteen. Thanks.
keep the change. Keep the change. So Vance, you said you wanted to discuss some of the details of the book we've been reading. Um, yeah, actually, is, is that all right? That's fine, but you seem to be grasping it pretty well. I would like to see you participate more in the open discussion, but your written responses seem very insightful. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about. Okay, what about it? Well, um, it seems to be kind of the, uh, consensus that in story Graham is somewhat of an outcast character, like a, you know, he doesn't seem to, to fit in so well with others and he doesn't, he doesn't communicate so well with his peers, like, you know, he'll, he'll want to, want to say something but he can't do it or, uh, or he can't make himself do it. And, uh, you know, he has a, a hard time uh, talking to people and girls. And I was just wondering if you had uh, any explanation for why he's like that. Vance, Graham was beaten and raped as a child and he was an open communist during the McCarthy era. That's gotta make you feel out of place no matter where you are. And as far as his relationship with women, it makes it pretty clear in the book that he was a closet homosexual. And do you think anything else might have contributed? No, I'd say that's plenty. Thanks for your time. Hello. Hey Vance, it's Adam. Oh, hey man. What's up? Nothing. Just sitting around. Figured I'd call you and see what you're up to. Yeah? So, what are you up to? Um, nothing. I, I don't know. Are you on the other line? No. Um, no, Adam, I don't, I don't get phone calls very often. I'm not sure if you knew that, but I don't. The last person that called me was this girl about a week ago. Well, what happened between you and her? Well, I mean, it was the wrong number, so not a whole lot. She was, she was looking for this guy named Carlos, whoever that is. Oh. Well, do you want to get off the phone? Well, that's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm so bad at all this. At what? I like talking to you, Adam. I do, it's, it's hard, it's very hard for me to say that. I'm just afraid if I can't figure this out, you're not gonna like talking to me too. I like talking to you. I, I feel out of it, I really feel out of it. I, I feel separate, I feel quarantined, I really feel quarantined. And uh, you know, I felt that way for a long time, a long time. You know. But now I'm getting to the point where I really want to, you know, I want to do something or I want to say something. I don't know how. And the entire time I'm asking myself, what's wrong with you? This can't be normal. 
That can't be normal, Anna. Can it? I don't know, Vance. I don't know what normal is. I don't even know if it has a meaning. But the question you want to ask yourself isn't what will make me normal. It's what will make me happy. What will make you happy, Vance? I don't know. Well, you should think about it. Next time you're out and you look around and you see everyone else and you just feel completely isolated from them, I want you to think about what you would do to make yourself happier. Can you do that? I can try. How you doing? You were talking to me? Yeah, I was just saying hi. But I mean, you didn't say hi. You asked me how I was doing. Yeah, I did, but... No, I mean, I'm just wondering why you said that. I mean, do I not look like I'm doing all right? I didn't mean to imply that. It's just the thing people say sometimes. How are you? It's a standard greeting. All right, okay. I mean, I mean, you live around here? Yeah, I live downstairs. I was just seeing a friend of mine. Right. But you did ask me how I was doing. Were you, were you asking your friend that, or were you asking me? Because I, I, don't, I don't see your friend. I was asking you. All right, well, you were asking me. I mean, so do you want to know how I'm doing, or do you not want to know me? Were you just saying that? I guess I want to know. Okay, good, because I want to tell you how I'm doing. I really want to tell you. Right now I'm doing so good, the last thing I need is some jackass to stop me in the hall to ask me how I'm doing. That's how on top of the fucking world I feel right now, man. Dude, you have problems. Yeah. You're telling me. Calm down, Vance. Vance, I need you to calm down. Take a breath, close your eyes, and calm down. I'm calm. I'm calm. Okay. Now I'm gonna say this part first, just to get it out of the way. You can't take out your anger and frustration on strangers that you encounter in the hallway. It's a good way to get murdered. All right, okay, okay, that makes, that makes sense. I also want to say that what you felt today and the way that you've been feeling, it's not all bad. I see, that, that's unusual, because it, it felt all bad. I know it does, but it's not. What's good about it is that you can honestly say that you want to change. Yes, I do. And you can. Okay. Okay. This is working. Thank you, Adam. This is, this, this would be, this would be a lot harder if I didn't have you to talk to. I'm glad to help. Seriously, I am. I want you to do something for me. Okay. I want you to think about a few things that you think would make you happy. Okay. I mean, now? Sure. Now we'll do fine.
Those are all very nice things. A bit far-fetched. Especially that last one. No offense. I mean, no, you know, none taken. Just the first thing I, I thought of, you know? They're important. Those thoughts are what you're working towards, because they represent happiness for you. Happiness? For me? You know, that, that, that sounds like something. Vance, you're gonna be just fine. I just, you know... I don't know where to go from here. I, I'm not sure what I should be doing. You just need to go where there are people. Find somebody and just start talking to them. Get along with them. Even if you have to fake it at first, you won't have to for long. I'll take one. What is it? It's a flyer for the upcoming Cougars game. They think people will start coming to the games if the tickets are free. Well, most people just use it for the pizza coupon on the back. Buy one, get one. Up to three toppings. It's a good deal. I know, man. There's no way the team can beat that coupon. Find people, Vance. Don't overlook anyone. My mom always tells me that. I wish I would have listened to her. Here's my point. Graham may have been hurt, he may have been abused, but that's not his problem. I mean, it's a problem, but it's not his problem. What Graham can't do, what really holds him back, is that he keeps thinking he has a problem, when he really doesn't. I mean, he does, but everyone else does too. So that's pretty much the same as everyone not having one. That's deep, man. See, like working here? Yeah, it's okay. I basically just stand here and serve chips for three hours. Yeah, if I did that, you know, I'd probably eat a lot of chips. Yeah, I eat some. I get kind of sick of them. I'll bet. sandwich you got there. Ham. It's a ham sandwich. Got cheese. You know it. Was it cheddar? No. It's some. It. I want to guess. Swiss? No. Alright, he's American. American. It's American cheese. No, no. I hate American. Me too, man. American cheese. 
corporate bullshit cheese. Well, I gotta go, man. Take it easy. Bet it was Colby. Colby Jack. Well, I never thought I'd see you again. I mean, but I live 20 feet from here. Yeah, but you've lived here for a while and I've never seen you out here before. Well, I mean, you know, my, my room is a mess right now. How is it? Yeah, there's still a lot of coins scattered on the floor. It's very distracting. I'll bet it is. They're pretty shiny. So how's that whole thing working out for you? The, the penny thing? Not so good. I had a friend of mine go spy on some of the other floors. I don't know where these people are coming up with all these pennies, but they have a lot. A lot more than our floor does. Really? Yeah. That sucks. And I really wanted to have that party too. I've taken 18 hours a semester. I never even get to leave the building. Yeah. Yeah, I know what that's like. You've got a tough schedule, too. Sort of. Oh, well. What can you do? I think I've got an idea. What floor did you say had the most pennies? Let's go over it one more time. I'm gonna go out there and make sure that the coast is clear. When I'm sure that it is, I'm gonna give you this signal. What's the signal? I mean, whatever I do, that's, that's the signal. Got it. All right. Now, once I'm sure that the coast is clear, it will then become your job to make sure that the coast stays clear. And if it isn't, you gotta let me know. Because I'm gonna be out there focused on taking the pennies. So if someone comes up the steps, down the steps, you gotta let me know. You gotta stall them. And stall them hard. Okay, but aren't they gonna notice when we have all these pennies and they don't have any all of a sudden? I well, thought about that. So here's what we do. We'll stash all the pennies in my room. We'll stash all the pennies in my room, and then slowly, I'll take them out to the lobby so it seems normal. What if someone sees them in your room? Nobody will, trust me. so well, did it? Maybe some of the other floors don't have such tight security. I think we better call it a night. I need to go study. I'll have to come up with something else. You do that. What's your name? Well, it's Vance. I had fun, Vance. Good night. I mean, you know, I, I know that I'm saying it, but you know, even as I'm saying it, I can't really believe that I'm saying it, so I'm gonna say it again. I had a really good day today. That is so cool, man. I mean, you know, I, I, I talked to people, I went out, you know, I, I talked to the penny girl. I mean, I actually went out. Do you have any idea how long it's been since I actually gone out somewhere? No. When was that?
I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it. That bad, huh? So hey, who is this Penny girl? Oh, you remember the uh, the girl that came to my door and I shot it in her face? Oh yeah. Yeah, I actually hung out with her some today. Man, I'm really proud of you. I mean, you turned it around overnight, didn't you? I must say, I thought it was going to be a lot harder. You know, when you spend so much time not trying, I guess you forget how easy it can be. I told you you could do it. Well, you know, I hate to be wrong, but it looks like you were right. I'm glad. So, what are you getting into now? Just trying to come up with a shitload of pennies. I see. Why? Well, you know, the penny girl doesn't think that our floor is going to be able to win this party unless we come up with some serious copper. Do you want to go to this party? I mean, you know, I guess I should, but, you know, she really wants our floor to win. Do you call her penny girl to her face, or do you just not know her name? I forgot to ask her what her name is. You might want to consider doing that soon. Yeah. As far as the pennies are concerned, I mean, have you thought about stealing some from the other floors? Yeah, we tried that. And... You got pinched. Hmm. Maybe you should try a bank. I'm not gonna rob a bank. I don't mean steal from them. Just buy some from them. How much did they charge me? I'm just gonna pretend that you didn't ask me that. Oh. Right. Well, yeah, you know, that might work. You know, I think I'm gonna head off here and get to bed. I'm exhausted, man. Okay, man. Talk to you later. Yep. See ya. come over, so I might be a little late. In the bank? Yeah. Okay, uh, will do. Yeah, um, yeah, which, which, which bank are you going to? The one on 22nd and Star? It's the closest one to campus. Oh, it is? Yeah, why do you ask? Uh, no reason. Um, yeah, have a great night. 22nd and Star. How do you think you could, uh, you break this for me? Uh, certainly, sir. How would you like that? Pennies, please. Spare any change, sir? Take it easy. They were, they were on sale. <laughs> this is so cool. I was going to have to submit our collection in today, and I was so sure we were going to lose. Well, I mean, I don't think we will now. Thanks, Vance. This means a lot to me. You're very welcome. I guess I better get this stuff off to my room before I take it downstairs. Yeah. I'll see you later, Vance. Well, sometimes I worry about those types of things too, you know? Really? Yeah. 
guess that's good to know. You always want to tell yourself that maybe everyone does this. I've always just thought I was lying when I felt that way. I don't think we are. Maybe everyone is an exaggeration, but I wouldn't call it a lie. I just don't even think it's worth it to analyze yourself like that. I've spent so much time coming up with excuses and alibis for the things that I do, and I still end up feeling just as guilty. Maybe that's why people plead guilty from the start. They're afraid to be judged. Well, I won't anymore. I'm happy with the way things are going now. We should be, Vance. You don't have anything to worry about from now on. Everything's okay now. with the donut. Excuse me, but I have to charge you for that donut. My manager's been on me all day. People have been stealing left and right from the bakery, and I gotta do it. What do you want? I have to charge you for that donut. I was, I was just in line. I mean, I didn't steal the donut. Right, but you know that you didn't pay for it, and if you leave, technically that's stealing. I had this, this, this donut sticking in my mouth the entire time. Would you think it was a, a tongue ring? Whatever. Look, just go to the back of the line and let me charge you for it. That line? We'll certainly not go back in that line. I just, uh, just wanted to apologize about, um, you know, what happened earlier between us. I was angry. I said things, you know, horrible things, things that, uh, just, you know, hope that 
maybe we can move past this and and possibly, um, you know. Keep the signs. What's your name? I'm Vance. That's a weird name. Yeah. You have a big nose. I know. What kind of donut is that? You know, it's, it's, it's glazed. Can I have it? Well, I mean, you know, I already had, I already had my mouth on. on I it. don't care. Um. All right. Give you the half I didn't eat. Come on, you. Let's go. Where did you get that? Him. How many times have I told you, don't take donuts from strangers? Setting up for the party tonight. Oh, I mean, the party, it, it's tonight. Yeah. Oh. You'll be there, right? 
I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't feel so well. Vance, you have to come. We wouldn't even be able to have it if it weren't for you. Oh, right. So you'll be there, right? Okay. Cool. I'll see you tonight then. 8 p.m. Okay. All right. Hello? Hey, Adam, it's Vance. Hey, man, what's going on? Uh, not much, just, just trying to figure all this out again. What's wrong? I mean, you know, it's just this party's tonight. The penny party? Yeah, man, I mean, you know, it sounds really lame when you say it like that. Sorry. I, just, I mean, I don't even feel like going. You probably should. I mean, you basically paid for the damn thing. Right. I mean, that's, that's what the penny girl told me. You still don't know her name? No, I don't. <sighs> that's gotta be a record or something. Yeah, God bless pronouns, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, I, mean, I guess I'll go. I mean, cool. I'm sure you'll have fun. Yeah, I hope. You will. Uh, maybe the old Vance wouldn't have, but this new and improved model that we've come up with surely will. Right. So what are you going to do till the party? I have no idea. I guess I'll just do my laundry. Yeah, you'll want clean clothes for the party. Yeah. All right. I guess I'll talk to you later. Borrow? Guess not. See anybody? Hey man, you got a quarter. I mean, you dropped your handkerchief. Man, you gotta, gotta get a quarter. Hey, boss, can I get a quarter, please? Can I borrow a quarter? Borrow a quarter? You want to borrow a quarter? Yes, could I? Oh, well, how would you plan on doing that? Doing what? Borrowing a quarter. Borrowing means me loaning you a quarter and you with the intention of reimbursing me for the said quarter. Oh. You don't intend on borrowing a quarter, how could you? How would you pay me back? I'm, I mean, you know, I, I could. I could mail it to you, maybe. Oh, you're, you're gonna mail me a quarter. Maybe. I could I could buy it from you, maybe. I have 17 cents on there. You don't want to borrow a quarter. You don't want to buy a quarter. You want someone to give you a quarter, and that's fine. I mean, why should anybody have to borrow a quarter every time they want one? But if you want me to give you a quarter, you're gonna have to ask me if you can have a quarter. Be a man about it. I think that maybe I could have a quarter, please. Sorry. I don't have a quarter. You don't? No. Have a good day.
think you could break this for me, please? You have to buy something first. bakery to get change and they wouldn't give me anything until I bought something. That's lame. I hate that stupid rule. Right. So what'd you get? Muffin. Then how did you get change? I said muffin. Oh, far out. Right. So I mean, I've had bad days before. I've had a lot of them. I've had so many of them to where there's been times that I forgot what a good day looked like. I mean, it's horrible. I mean, it really is a horrible feeling. But now that I can specifically recall having a good day, it just makes the bad ones seem so much worse. Vance, everything is going to be just fine. You're just about to go to this party and you're freaking out a little. Things seem a lot different now. Well, you can't expect every day to be the exact same, Vance. I mean, that's why there's such thing as bad days. It's to make you appreciate the good days more, not to resent them. Yeah, that makes sense. All you have to worry about is going to this penny party and having a good time. And you will have a good time. I promise you that. But you have to allow yourself to. Okay. I will. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. Okay. See ya. chips and the, and the drinks. You don't need diet. <laughs> That's top notch. Top shelf. You are so gay, man. He's a uh, primary contributor to the um, generous baby. Generous. Always generous. He used to call me Mr. Generosity. No, they didn't. No, they did not. You're the shit and you know it. Hey, Vance, you're here. Yeah, I am, yeah. Cool, I'm really glad you came. Everyone, I want you all to meet Vance. We all owe him big time. If he hadn't have come up with a ton of pennies at the last minute, we'd all be sitting in our rooms right now studying for some stupid test. Hey, Matt. Say hi to Vance. Hi, Vance. Yeah, that's Matt. Yeah. Oh, hey, Ashley. What's going on? Nothing much. I'm glad you could make it. Have you met Vance before? 
He's the one I told you about, the one that got all the pennies for us. Wow, cool. Yeah. Yeah, she also said that you slammed the door in her face the first time that you came to her room. Ashley. Um, yeah, sorry about that, you know. I'm, I'm not much of a morning person. <laughs> it was three in the afternoon, Vance. Yeah, I'm, I'm not much of a person in general. <laughs> I doubt that. Look, just hang out here with everyone for a while because I have to go get some drinks and then I'm going to go pick up some pizzas. Okay. Have fun. Oh, yeah. So yeah, like that's why we started the whole group. Like in order to pursue happiness, you have to have a foundation for happiness to blossom. Right, that totally makes sense. Yeah, and like so few girls actually have the insight or intelligence to actually reach their own peak happiness. You know, you know? Right, I know exactly what you mean. It's so cool to be able to talk to a girl that I respect so much on an intellectual level. I totally respect you for that. Yeah, me too. I mean, that's why we started the whole group. But yeah, it's a completely surreal experience. First time I tripped, it was so amazing. Really? I've never tried it before. Well, it was amazing. The first time I tripped, there were so many colors. And it was like, I couldn't hold them, but I could taste them. And it was so weird because I always thought that purple would taste like grape, but it didn't. It tasted like raspberries. That is so cool. We'll totally have to do that sometime. Yeah, cool. That would be great. What's your cell phone number? Well, actually, I lost it some each party. I don't know what happened to it. I can give you my email address. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'll give you mine too. Okay, it's Flashly101, you know, with a PH. <laughs> was a nickname I had in my high school chemistry class. <sighs> That's so cool. All right, my email address is Mattbox20. Cool. Okay, hey everyone, listen up. Now is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's karaoke time. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. So who's gonna go first? Every day I wake up, 
I know it's not much. It's no exaggeration to say that most days that's the biggest thing that I accomplish. However, I can't remember the last time that I really felt it was worth it. What song is this? <clears throat> Sometimes, throughout my rigorous daily schedule, I stumble across my reflection. I never go out of my way to find it, but when I do, I always look at it. I want to see it, you know. I want to see what I'm missing. I look closely because I want to see what I don't have that all of you obviously do. So I came here. So I came here tonight to see if I could maybe figure it out. And I've watched you all. Now I think I have an answer. Now I'm thinking Either I have it, and you don't. Or you have it, and I don't want anything to do with it. I spend every day of my life examining the kind of person that I am. And I'm starting to think that I'm the only one that's trying. When's the last time any of you thought about the kind of people you are? When's the last time you stared at your reflection? Ashley? When's the last time you looked in the mirror? Matt? Are you happy with what you see? I go to the store now. I go out in the streets. I talk to people willingly. And now I think I'm going to ask a new question when I see myself in the mirror. Am I the only one that's trying? Well, maybe I won't anymore. You people are the reason that babies cry when they're born. Okay, I'm stuck again. Adam, I'm stuck again. I don't know what went on out there. I don't know what the fuck went on out there. But this, this is not what I signed up for. Because those people out there tonight, they're very bad, very bad people. And I don't like them. And they don't like me. And as I say that, I can't even make myself feel bad about it. And I don't want to. Maybe that's the key to it. Maybe I don't want to be liked. If you can't say nothing nice, don't say nothing at all. Well, I tried saying nothing, and I tried being nice, and this, this is the only thing I haven't tried. Maybe I don't want to be nice, Adam. Maybe I just want to be noticed, and maybe it doesn't matter how I make him say, I see him there. I just don't want to be overlooked. this time. Press 1 to save message. To record new message, press 2. Start recording now. Um, just got back from the party. Not bad. <laughs> so yeah, give me a call, huh?
I just got your message. Yeah. I told you you'd have fun. Vance? Yeah. I told you, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. It was lots of fun. Everyone was really cool. That's great, man. Who all was there? Just some, some kids from our floor. Cool. I sat with uh, Matt and Ashley, these two kids from our floor. Yeah, they were real cool. We got along well. Could you hold on a second, Adam? Yeah, sure. say anything bad because you know you, you just don't have to in fact even if you want to say something don't don't say anything please you're my best friend Adam good night good night man What was your goal here, Vance? What, what goal? I didn't have a goal. Are you sure, Vance? Because it looks to me like your goal was to go to huge efforts to win our floor of this party, only to ruin it. Was your goal to make Ashley cry? Was your goal to humiliate everyone there? Especially me, Vance. For telling everyone they would really think you were cool. Because I did. I didn't have a goal. Why'd you do this, Vance? I always told you I wasn't much of a person. You just told me that for the first time a couple of hours ago. Well, well I was right, wasn't I? I guess you were. It just took me a few days to notice. all Graham's fault. I mean, this guy is about as spineless as it gets. I have no sympathy for Graham or anyone like him. If you can't stand up and take matters into your own hands, then may God have mercy on your soul, because nobody else will. So have your turn, son.
Ladies, could you move your goddamn cards, please? So yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, things are really going great. It's so good to hear, Vance. Yeah, I think uh, me and Lauren might go get somebody here in a few. Who's Lauren? Ah, uh, it's the, uh, it's the Penny Girl. Oh, I didn't know her name was Lauren. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And I, th I think we're gonna get something to eat here in a few. Hey, you wanna go get a bite to eat? Sure. I'm so hungry. Let's go. Hello? Hey, is Carlos there? No, ma'am, he's not. Could you give him a message for me? Well, Carlos doesn't live here. And he's never lived here. I don't get it. Well, let me explain it for you. See, you don't know how to use a telephone. And so you're calling me when you mean to be calling him. This is what's commonly referred to as a wrong number. Have you ever spoken to Carlos before? Because if not, there's a good chance that he gave you a fake number. Because he doesn't want to talk to you. Either that or he gave you a real one and just assumed that you would never be able to figure out the complex telephone accurately enough to ever reach him. What the hell is your problem? Well, every time you tell me to give Carlos a message, I hang up the phone and I laugh at you. I'll let you decide whose problem that is. Can I help you? Hi there. I'm I'm Henry. Henry, what do you know? I I, I don't know. I see. Can I stay here? Now why do you want to sit here, Henry? Because it's quiet over here, as opposed to over there. There's lots of loud people over there. Yeah, it's, it's quiet here. It's quiet over there, too. Yes, I suppose it is. sit here? I suppose not. You said your name was Henry? Yeah. What's your name? I'm Vance. Well, Vance, what can I do for you? Well, 
Come here. I couldn't help but notice that you seem to be interested in what those guys were doing at that other table. I was just curious. Well, you came up to me and you asked me if you could sit at my table. Did you really want to go over there and ask them if you could sit with them? Yes. And why didn't you? I guess I was scared to approach them. I don't know them or anything. Well, you don't know me. Why weren't you scared to approach me? Well, you were sitting over there in that table alone, so I figured you and I were the same in that respect. Well, what makes you think I didn't, I didn't want to be alone? Well, I, I guess you didn't notice, but you were staring at them too. Did you want to sit with them? No, 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 Henry, no. Mm -mm. I didn't want to sit with them. I wasn't looking at them, you understand? I was looking down on them. You were looking up to them, because that's what you want to be. You were looking up to them, because that's, that's what you want to be. I wasn't looking, I wasn't looking, I was looking through them, man. I was looking through them, all right? Right through them, because I'm through with them. Henry, fuck. Henry, I'm through with them, and I'm through with you. Fuck them, Henry. Fuck them, and fuck you too, all right? Man. Hey, buddy, give me a quarter. No, I don't have one. Yeah? Bullshit. I can hear that chain jing around in your pocket. What do you carry around sleigh bells, Santa Claus? Fucking freak. Hey, hey, you, give me a quarter. Everyone's got a quarter. You don't. You gonna give me a quarter? Go fuck yourself, man. I will for a quarter. Hey, you want me to fuck myself for a quarter? You wanna watch? You can watch for two quarters. You can watch me fuck myself for two quarters, you sick son of a bitch. What the fuck are you looking at? You know, Henry asked for her phone number and she was like, well, sure, if you give me your credit card number. Did he give it to her? Nah, I mean, you know, she probably would've given him a fake or something. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So what were you doing in the library anyhow? Yeah, I was trying to study some, but it didn't go so well. well. At least you had fun watching your new friend feel the sting of rejection. Yeah, I watched it all right. Oh well. What are you getting into tonight? Um, yeah, there's some people from my floor that are supposed to be going out and they asked me if I wanted to come with them. Where are they going? Um, what? I said, where are they going? Oh, um, yeah, they're gonna go play a, a putt-putt at some place. Miniature golf, sweet. Who else going with you? I don't know, just just some people, I guess. Well, that'll be fun, right? Yeah, yeah, Adam, it'll be lots of fun. Well, I guess I'll let you go then. Don't want to keep your friends waiting on you. Okay. I'll just talk to you later then. Okay, see ya.
left. I just forgot to tell you that I'm going to be gone for the night, um, at least till tomorrow afternoon. So in case you were going to call me before then, uh, I'm not going to be around. But I'll talk to you when I get back home. Have fun mini golfing. service please um, is this is this off white taxi please oh, okay um are there any are there any mini golf places around here there's a field okay uh, well which one's the closest to campus Hidden Gardens Mini Golf. All right, well, where is it? Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I, I think I know where that is. Not, I don't, I don't need a cab. I'm gonna take the bus. Hey, man, don't be an asshole. Excuse me. Excuse me. I was gonna go take the bus and play mini golf. And I was wondering if anyone would care to join me. You see, I, uh, I got directions from a taxi cab and I told a friend of mine that I was gonna go, but um, now he isn't going, so. I went ahead and uh, wrote down the name and directions on this piece of paper. If anyone decides to show up, I can either do those holes over again or wait for you to catch up if they don't allow that. I've never been there before. signs and whatnot. It's a lot quieter now. Just a little bit of silence can seem so quiet in such a loud world. This is arctic desolation. I think that to not be able to speak is the definition of loneliness. Loneliness is not being alone. It's being alone in a crowded room. Loneliness is being spoken to and not being able to say anything back. It's a one-way street. And to not be able to hear, to be deaf, how wonderful that must be. How peaceful. You cannot speak and you cannot be spoken to. Nothing has ever been more fair than that. It's a two-way street with no traffic and all you have to do is close your eyes and that street is gone. I would love to be able to live in that way, but I hear everything. And I even hear nothing at all. To the deaf, sound is nothing. It doesn't exist. But to those that hear, nothing is a clear sound in itself. It's the sound of being alone. And I realize that I am alone, but as I said, that does not make me lonely. I can enjoy it. I have to enjoy it. It's the only thing I have left. As I say this, I am reminded of one other thing that I do have. I have a pizza coupon, and I intend to use it.
Hello? Hey man, what's up? Um, pizza. I'm gonna use this super sweet pizza coupon to get some pizza. That's cool. I like pizza. Yeah, me too. What kind of pizza are you gonna get? Expired? It's gross. Dude, my super sweet pizza coupon is fucking expired. That sucks. What are you gonna do instead? Guess I'm going to a baseball game. I don't see how that's a logical substitute. There's a free ticket for a baseball game on the back of the pizza coupon. Guess I'll do that instead. Oh, I see. You should get some people to go with you. What? You know, you should get some friends together and go to the game with them. You should get some friends together and go to the game with them. You know, Adam, you should really come off with this whole friendship thing, man. What? Jesus Christ, you call me up every day and bring up these friends of mine. How great they are and how great it is that I have them now. You have the time and the desire to do this? Let me ask you something, man. Let me ask you. Where are all your friends at? Well, I thought I was talking to one of them on the phone right now. Right, yeah. Well, you know, you should really try being alone sometimes. It's not that bad, you know? I don't need to be around my friends all the time. And I don't need to be on the phone with my friends all the time. And I definitely don't need to be on the phone with my friends while discussing the other friends that I don't happen to be spending my time with currently. You know, Vance, I think that makes a lot of sense. I think that maybe I should try being alone. In fact, I think I'm going to give it a try right now. Have fun at the baseball game. I will. I'm going to have fun at the baseball game. That doesn't make sense, man. Hey, what the fuck did you say to me, man? I don't even know you, dude. Yeah, well that doesn't matter. Cause I know what you said to my girlfriend. Who might that be? Ashley. Flashley 101? Who the fuck is that, man? Oh, um... Uh, that's, that's surprising, though. I mean... I thought her and Matt were hitting it off rather well. Yeah? And who the fuck is Matt, man? That's the guy she was flirting with at the party. Oh. I guess I'm gonna have to kick his ass, too. And then I'm gonna dump that bitch. I'm gonna dump her hard. Real hard. By all means. Yeah, well, I brought you a little something. I thought you might need this. I appreciate that. Yeah. Hey, man. Can I ask a favor? Great goodness, in all my 58 years, I don't believe I've ever seen such a beating as the Cougars are receiving here today. 29 to nothing, and we're only in the fifth inning. Hudson is up to the plate for the Cougars. Here comes the delivery. Oh my, that one's going for a ride. I don't believe the park will hold it. That's a home run for the Cougars. 29 to one. Well, this game is as good as done. And it looks like one lucky fan will take home quite the souvenir. Son. You, you got any spare change? You hungry, man? Uh, I could eat. What's your name, son? I'm Vance. Don't you want to know what my name is? No. No, I don't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what my name is, but you ask. 
Fair enough. Are you in school, Vance? Yeah, I am. You like it? No. Yes, I do. <laughs> Mixed feelings, I understand. Oh, do you? I think so. You know what I don't understand? I don't understand why you're out here tonight taking some stranger out to eat. Does that make you feel like a kind person? No. No, I'm not kind. I'm just bored. Why aren't you out with your friends or something? Because I don't have any friends. That's why. Well, now that's a lie. Any man who doesn't have any friends is a man who doesn't want any. Well, maybe I don't want any, but that still counts as not having any, doesn't it? I suppose so. Where are all your friends at? They all feel sorry for me. I can't stand to be in the pity. Do you think that's why I'm here? Because you feel sorry for me? I don't know, do you? Not at all. Do you feel sorry for yourself? You got a problem with that too? Not at all. Self-pity means guilt to a man, I think. A guilty man can be very generous, sometimes for no reason at all. Hmm. I'm afraid to say that's how I make my living. Guilty folks come by right place and right time. How guilty are you, Vance? Hey, Adam. Um, it's, it's Vance. Hey, I guess you're not home. But I'm, I'm leaving you this message, and you can listen to it whenever you want. I don't know where to go anymore. The last few days have been very, very peculiar. I remember thinking clearly that I thought I had it all figured out. The reason I'm calling is because I want to tell you that I, I don't have it all figured out. I don't have any of it figured out, Adam, and that's the only thing that I do know. That and... You're not my best friend, Adam. You're my only friend. Any friends I said I had about here, I lied. Everyone here hates me. And it's my own fault. I can't even speak to them. But I still want to change. I still think some people need to change. But some people can't. I can't change myself, Adam. Man, that really is the saddest part. I'm left with nothing but what I am. And that's no good. I'm no good. I'm no good to myself. I'm no good to anyone. And I never have been. Adam, 
started smoking yesterday and I don't know why. Put something Sounds soft good. down so it won't break every time it falls. Affirmative. I had fun, Vance. Good night. What's your name, Penny Girl? Why do you want to know? I want to know your name, that's why. I'm not going to dance around this, but don't laugh. All right, no, no. I mean, just, just tell me what she said. She said she would give me her phone number if I gave her my credit card number. <laughs> oh, <that's cool. laughs> hey Vance! Hey! I've been looking all over for you, man. Uh, you uh you still need that ride? Yeah. Come on, for me? Come on, Vance. Yay! I haven't named this one yet. What's your name, Penny Girl? Why do you want to know? You going again, look? and right time. How guilty are you, Vance? Do I look guilty? No. But you feel guilty, don't you? Yes. Do you think you can make yourself feel better? No. Why not? Because I can give up. Keep the change.